Hey everyone, it's Megan and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my tips and tricks for how to prepare for an upcoming interview, especially for a time crunch. When I say a time crunch, I basically mean the people who are looking for interview advice if they're in their last couple of weeks before the interview and they're looking to just perfect things and prepare as much as possible in those last couple of weeks. If you're looking for more interview prep advice, you can check out my other video up here where I give more generalized advice outside of just in a time crunch and like technical interview prep. I just give general interview tips. So go check out that video if you'd like to learn more. Also, this is a more general video, but if you're looking for more personalized advice, I do offer career coaching for $10 a session and you can sign up for that through my resume review service on my website, or you can just send me an email letting me know that you're interested. So the absolute number one tip that I have is to practice with a friend. And I think I mentioned this a little bit more in my other video, but I really think that it's extremely important to work with a friend when you're doing technical interview prep, especially if it's the last couple of weeks. This is even better if your friend has interviewed at the company that you're interviewing with, because then they know the exact structure and style of the interview questions so they can help you as much as possible. I give mock interviews very frequently and I use them all the time. I get my friends to give me them and I give them to my friends in return. So I can confirm that they're very, very helpful and a fantastic idea if you're looking for real interview practice. I think the best way to do this is to set aside a large chunk of time where for the first portion of the time, you're just giving a real interview where you guys don't act like your friends, you just act like you're an interviewee and they're interviewing you. And then after you actually take some time to debrief and go over suggestions for improvement. So for example, if I were to give a Google style mock interview, I would set aside a full hour for us to work together. And then I would do the first 45 minutes as a real Google interview where I just do like Google style questions. And then for the very last 15 minutes, I just talk to them as a friend and give good like advice and tips for how they can improve for the actual interview. Now, as a disclaimer, although I said I give Google style questions, I would really recommend against trying to figure out actual questions that the company is asking. I can get more into this in a different video, but essentially it will be hurtful to you and the person mock interviewing you if they give you actual questions. Basically, you might go through the questions too quickly if you come across them in a real interview. And also the person who's giving you the mock probably signed an NDA saying that they wouldn't give out company questions. So they're actually breaking that contract. Anyways, my big tip for doing mock interviews with your friends is to treat them like they're actual interviews. I know it can feel a little bit weird because they are your friend and you don't really want to treat them like an interviewer, but if you treat it as seriously as possible and act like it's a real thing, then you'll know how you'll perform when you're actually doing the interview later on. If you're in the last couple of weeks leading up to your interview, I would recommend doing probably like one to three mock interviews per week until the actual interview date. And I would caution you, don't try to cram in a bunch right before the interview because then you might start feeling burnt out and that can actually hurt you rather than help you. Now, say you don't have anyone who can help you out with mock interviews or you're looking to squeeze in some prep outside of your mock interviews. The second best thing that you can do is to just work with yourself and do some practice on websites like LeetCode or HackerRank. I don't think you should do normal prep here where you're just grinding away trying to pass test cases. I still think that an effective way at prepping for interviews would be to talk through the questions even if you're completely by yourself and still try to talk through things like runtime and possible external test cases. That way you can actually get good practice for the day of the interview, even if you don't have anyone to practice with. Like I mentioned, sites like HackerRank and LeetCode are great for this type of prep, but it's important that you use them effectively, especially in these last couple of weeks. I particularly recommend trying to identify topics that you're weaker at and then working on those topics specifically. So for example, if you think that you're pretty weak at tree traversal, it might be helpful to go onto the LeetCode tree section and just try and do tree problems and kind of get stronger at that. Similarly, I think it could be great to pinpoint sections in cracking the coding interview that you're weaker at. For example, if you're weak at trees, you could look at the tree section and then specifically work on those as well as doing problems in LeetCode and HackerRank. The third biggest tip that I have is to keep your mental health in mind when you're doing all of this prep work. I know that it can feel like it'll be the end of the world if you don't perform well in your interview, 
but you don't want to put so much stress on yourself that when it comes time to do the actual interview, your mind completely goes blank and you can't remember how to do any of the problems that you've been practicing. I know that I personally have struggled with that before, where if I'm feeling really stressed out in an interview, when the time comes, I'll completely forget everything that I've been practicing and do really poorly on a question that I would normally ace. I really focused on my mental health during this recruitment season so that that wouldn't keep happening, and I thought that it was really, really helpful. So some of the things that I tried to do were work on positive self-talk and also just kind of keep a cool head in my interview practice. For example, if I got a practice problem wrong, normally I would think, ugh, I totally knew that, I totally could have gotten that right, how could I get that wrong? But when I started focusing on positive self-talk, I shifted that language from thinking, ugh, I should have gotten that right, to instead thinking, wow, I'm really glad I encountered this problem because now if I see something like it in the future, I'll probably be able to do it. So thinking more about what I learned rather than what I didn't know at the start. One thing that also helped me in terms of self-talk was shifting my language from, oh my God, this is so stressful. I have to prove to them that I'm good enough. They don't think I'm good enough. I need to interview so that they know that I'm a good fit for the company. Those kind of thoughts used to just spiral through my head and really stress me out. So I tried to shift from thinking, ugh, I have to prove myself, to instead thinking, wow, they saw my application and thought I would be a good fit, and that's why I'm interviewing with them. I know that self-talk is a really minor change, but for me personally, it had really good results and was really helpful for me on the day of the interview. I also think that it's really important to take rest days, even if it is those last couple of weeks before the interview and you want to spend all of your time prepping, I think it's a great idea to build in rest days or rest hours so that you don't burn yourself out and make the interview seem really, really daunting. Keeping rest days was really helpful for me because then when it came time to do the actual interview, I wasn't super tired and sick of coding. I was feeling clear-headed and ready to do the interview. Those are my top three big tips for how to prepare in the upcoming weeks, but before I end, I'll just shoot off a couple of small tips that I found to be really helpful. First, I definitely recommend researching the company and figuring out the style of the interviews that they do. So for example, Google has two 45-minute interviews and each interview can have one to three questions. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that those questions typically build on each other. They aren't three completely independent questions. And knowing that can just kind of help you feel more comfortable going into the interview. Another general tip is to have a couple of different questions about the company just kind of laid out and ready to go before you walk into the interview. This way, you can make sure that if the interviewer asks you if you have any questions for them, you'll have a stockpile and you can just kind of refer to that rather than try and think of something on the spot. Lastly, be sure to keep some water on your desk in case you get thirsty or nervous, and then also make sure you have a snack and use the restroom before starting the interview. That way, you won't have anything else on your mind and you can just focus on the interview itself. Those are all the tips that I can think of right now, but let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I wish you all the best of luck with your interviews, and if you get something really exciting, let me know in the comments because I'd love to know about it. Again, if you'd like personalized help, I can definitely help you with that if you reach out to me through email or through the form on my personal website. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below and also just in a pinned comment. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!